So you never had an earthquake? No. Never been in a tsunami? No, I don't live in Japan. Never climbed a volcano? No. Do you want to climb a volcano? I think yes. You think yeah, a lot of people do actually. A lot of people like to climb the volcanoes and see see the crater and the and the lava. But it is dangerous, that's for sure. It's dangerous for sure. All right, let's go. How's Mr. Dudley today? Uh, I'm good. You're good. Why are you frozen? I don't know. It's my leggy something. <laughs> You're frozen like Giga Chad. Maybe. <laughs> oh my God. I hate Giga. this. Who's doing the test? You or Giga Chad? Um. You're I'm, gonna do it, huh? Yeah. All right. That's good. Do you have your test papers? Yeah, I have it. You know what we're going to talk about, our topics. All right, that's good, that's good. And then we'll read about that. That really big family tonight. Yeah. Too. Okay, good job. All right, then. So how's the school? Everything's good? Your yeah, everything is good. You got one okay. brother or two? You got one little brother? I got one brother. No sisters? No. Okay. And he's uh, getting better or is he still wild? Uh, it's still wild. It's still wild. And very noisy. Very noisy. <laughs> well, we definitely had a lot of sound issues for sure when you've been doing classes. That's for sure. But all right. Hopefully, we'll get through this one and we won't have too many interruptions. Let's go to uh, part one social interaction. Okay, so our part one social interaction, our first topic is going to be about talent and skills. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Mr. Tedley, you are a teenager now. What yeah. is your greatest talent? What are you naturally good at? Uh, I can... Uh, Something that comes talking with people very well. Ah, oh, really uh, outgoing uh, social skills. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you going to be a stand-up comedian? Maybe. Maybe? Oh, okay. No, maybe no. Maybe yes. You could uh, make a YouTube channel and tell jokes. No. I don't want to make a joke in YouTube. I no. want a... I want a crown. You want... Oh, you want to... I don't want to be a crowd. You want to be in front of a crowd? No. What do you want? Or you don't want? I don't want. Ah, oh, you don't want to be in front of a crowd. So you have stage fright. Afraid to speak to a, the class or a big group of people? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe? Let's see. You are or you're not. Did you ever try speaking in front of the class? Yeah, I think I, I need to try this. Yeah, you need to. It's really good to to get over that that uncomfortable feeling. And it, it'll help you a lot if you're comfortable talking in front of people. Yeah, for sure. So any other talents you have? Are you good at any sports or um, swimming? I, or? I think uh, I can swim. Swim, swim very well? Yeah. I can okay. swim three with three rounds. Very well. Yeah. Okay. What skills have you learned or learning now? Uh, I can speak English. You're learning English right now? Absolutely. Right this second. Yeah. What other skills are you learning? Are you learning how to make pizza? No. Big bread? I I learning how to cooking. Learning to cook. Yeah. Yeah, I like cooking because then I can make it the way I like it and I want it. <laughs> You're not learning how to ride the horse? Yes. Yeah. So you're learning uh, horse riding skills, riding skills. Yeah. What about memes and anime like Giga Chad? Are you going to start learning those things? 
No, I cannot. Is uh ta- my talent, my talent, my nitro. That's my not. Talent. That is a talent or not a talent. It uh talents. So you're good with computers. Yeah. Ah, that's good because uh, it's really important to be good with computers as you get older. It's going to help a lot. Have you played with any of the new, uh, what is it, uh, chat Chat GPT? All right, no, um, yeah, it's, it's new in... AI? Yeah, it's AI. Have you... But I can chat with it because I don't have a mobile phone something. I tried to download the chat. GPI, GPT, GPT, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's not available in Vietnam. Yeah. So I can't. Yeah. But but I did find a YouTube video that that said that there are two or three other software packages or apps that you can get. That's the same thing. It's very very similar to the to the Chat GPT. So I actually have one of my assistants is coming on Thursday. And we're going to try to download some of the other AI software. If not, I'm going to try one of those VPNs where you can pay to have an IP address in another country. You know what I mean? Do you ever hear of it? I think it's called VPN, where you can register and it'll give you an IP address in a different country. Did you ever hear of that? I think I can hear in somebody talk to me, talk with me. Told you about that? Yeah. Yeah, it can. Uh, um, uh, it can help. Can. Uh, well, it can help you access a lot of different things. So, yeah. if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna try that and see if that works. Okay. It can connect everyone in the world, maybe. Well, I think if I remember correctly, and I think it's called a VPN, it means like there's companies out there, like I'm guessing they're probably like server based, like a website, and you can get an account there. And then all your internet connections go through there. So like, for example, if, uh, if you're watching YouTube, it acts, let's say you set up a VPN in Germany. So YouTube will see that every time I watch a video, it looks like I'm in Germany. And then it gets sent to me a different different way. I don't know how it all works. I, I, I don't have a talent with cube computers. I'm learning computer skills now, and I should have started a long time ago. Oh, my God. But um, I think what I can do is I can get a VPN address in America, and then that way I could get the chat, chat GPT. That's that's my plan. But Thursday we're gonna work on that. So hopefully I'll have it by the end of next week. All right. So we talked about skills. We talked about talents. How they're different, right? Talent is something you naturally have. Skills are things we learn as we develop. If we're lucky, uh, we have a talent, and we can keep working on developing the skills around our talent and be really, really good at something, which is really good and important in the future. Um. So let's say you do one of those. How can talent and skills help you in the future? Mm, maybe my talent and skill can help me in the tour give to a guide. Help you become a tour guide? Yeah. Yeah, if you wanted to be a tour guide. Languages is definitely some skills you want to learn because the more languages you speak, the m- more people you can serve, which means you probably you're worth more money creating value, which is very important. And computer skills, if you're good with that, you can advertise. You might even be able to open up your own business in the future. And also, um, you said that you have a natural... Uh, talent to socialize and communicate with people. So those are three very talent. Those are three really good talents and skills that would help you very much in tour guiding. Yeah, that's true. So you still want to be a tour guide, yeah? Yeah. In Halong, or do you want to work in different places? Yeah, in Halong, in some place. Do um. Does anyone in your family? 
is anyone in your family a tour guide? Yeah, my family say I need to do to be a tour guide because they can have a much of money. Are they tour guides too? Your mom, your dad, anybody? Yeah, yeah. They're all tour guides. Yeah. Ah, okay. So you'll be able to get right in there. How's your mom and dad's English? And it's very good. I can. Very good. Yeah. Your mom and your dad's English is really good. Yeah. Oh, okay. I I thought you were the only one learning English. Okay. Let's go to topic two. Yeah. All right, so our topic two, natural disasters. What are some different kinds of disasters, Mr. Dudley? Um, different kind of disasters. Yeah, what kind of disasters does the world face from time to time? I think it's... Uh, what do they get a lot in Japan? Uh, in Japan, is uh, tsunami. Tsunamis, yeah. What else? Yeah. What other natural disasters are there? Earthquakes. 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 Yeah. 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 And volcano. Volcanoes. That's right. Big volcanic eruptions. A lot of those in Indonesia. Yeah. We don't have any active volcanoes in Vietnam. No. What else? Uh, I think it's storm. Yeah, what kind of storms? And rain, rain. Well, those, yeah. What do you call those big rainstorms with high winds that come from the ocean that hit the uh, hit the side and the coastline of Vietnam every year? What do you call those? Um, I think it's typhoon. Yeah, it could be typhoon or it could be a cyclone. Another word, the, the West and the North Atlantic, they call it a hurricane. What about a hurricane on land in the middle of a farmer field? Tornado. Tornadoes, yeah. What about no rain? Yeah, is it wrong? Drought. Drought, yeah, that's right. What about too much rain? Um, too much rain is flat. <laughs> you have a flood? I don't know. Flood. Flood. Yeah. Flood, not flood. Flood. Yeah, there's a lot of natural disasters, for sure. What kinds of disasters are common in your country here in Vietnam? There's another one that happens I in Vietnam a lot, but we didn't mention it. Is What's the number one natural disaster that Vietnam faces every year? Usually in the central or the south, not so much in the north where you are, but more central, Da Nang and, and south, Tam Ki, all those places. Yeah, little, little problem with Deadly. Looks like he's freezing up or something's not going too well here for him. Are you back, Deadly? No, teacher. There wait, you are. Wait, I can't connect my, my Wi-Fi. Like, I need to um, connect PC again. Okay. Hello again. <coughs> You're back again. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's try to get this done here. So we were, we were in topic two, natural disasters, and I asked what kinds of disasters are common in your country. We were talking about the ones coming in from the ocean, remember? Those are like the biggest ones. What are those called? Let's let's try that again. Now that we're now that the connection is back. So yeah, again, what are the uh, what kinds of disasters are common in your country? Is tropical depression, flood, drunk, and tropical depression. <laughs> yeah. Well, the tropical storms, yes, because we're in the tropic zone. But what do you call those storms that come in from the ocean? Do you remember? 
Tornado is something. Well, tornado is on land. The one on the water starts with a with a well a T. Uh, typhoon. Yeah, you guys get typhoons here. That's right. Those big rain, windy storms. It's like a tornado, the typhoon that comes in from the ocean across the Philippines. That's right. Have you ever been in a disaster? I don't mean in a video game. Uh, I see. I have been in my house. Be my behind house is a fire tree fire. You had a fire in your house? No, in behind my house. Oh, the trees, the forest. Yeah. Oh, well, that could be a disaster, too. That's right. Sometimes it can burn down communities. When was that? How old were you? Is um, five years. You were five years old or five, five years ago? Just ago. Five years ago. Okay. Yeah. So no damage to your house? Everything was okay? Yeah, everything is very okay. <laughs> everything is very okay. You didn't go play and climb trees? No, I see <laughs> fire. No, fire is very dangerous. You don't want to play with fire, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay. So you never had an earthquake? No. Never been in a tsunami? No, I don't live in Japan. Never climbed a volcano? No. Do you want to climb a volcano? I think yes. You think, yeah, a lot of people do, actually. A lot of people like to climb the volcanoes and see see the crater and the, and the lava. But it is dangerous, that's for sure. It's dangerous for sure. All right, let's go to our reading comprehension part two. Okay. All right, so there, we reviewed that very large family lesson and Mother's Day. So... Let's ask some questions. See how much you understood from that reading and that lesson. Okay. Okay. So I made up some questions a little different here. All right. It was my paper. Here's my paper. All right. So number one, pretty simple. How many people are there in the Dexter family? Mm, is 14. Yeah. No. Is <laughs> No, 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 no. Is seventeen brother and sister. So that's it. Hannah doesn't live there. Nobody else. I think is <laughs> dad and mom. So how many people? The question is not how many uh, brothers and sisters does Hannah have. It's how many know, people are there in the family. I think is nineteen. So who's missing? No. Yeah. Think about it. I think is Hannah has seventeen brothers and sisters. So how many kids? Oh, is twenty. Oh my god! Yeah, I forget. I forget Hannah. You forgot Hannah. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't live there. <laughs> she tell yeah. she tell me, and I don't know she. Exactly, because she has 17 brothers and sisters. That means there's 18 kids. Wow. Okay. Oh. That's a lot of kids. Actually, what it is, if I remember the story correctly, because it doesn't give us all the information here, is it was, uh, it was a man and a woman who already had six. They already had big families, like seven or eight, nine kids each. Uh, and they were divorced. And these two parents got together and they got married. So half of the kids are on the father's side. Half of the kids are on the mother's side is how it worked. It wasn't It wasn't that, her, him and her, that had 18 children. It, it was two families that combined through marriage, if I remember correctly. But I could be wrong. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Number two. Do you think Hannah's happy living with such a big family yes she what makes you think she's happy mm, um she think he's 
she feel lucky to be in Shak- Shakat a big family. Such a yeah, such a big family. Such a, such, a, such, a, such such a such such yeah, such it's not such such it's like a T in there. Such such yeah, such yeah yeah. Well, that that's the clue right there. She says she feels very happy about being in such a big family. So yeah, she's happy. What about you? Would you like a family as big as hers? No. You don't want to have 17 brothers and sisters? No. I mean, just think about how much fun it would be to go to the beach. No. No. Because my family is very poor. Very poor. Yeah. So what if you had lots of money? Then would you want 17 brothers and sisters? No. Still don't want. so, So it's not about money. Why no. don't you want to have lots of brothers and sisters? I think is you need to have a many toilet because if if you want to go to toilet and this brother want to need a toilet to but but the but my sister or something um my cousin my brother in my toilet in the toilet so i can go to the toilet now i need to wait <laughs> oh but again if you're rich you can have a big house and you can have 10 toilets 10 bathrooms in the house then would you like to have 17 18 children or brothers and sisters yeah yeah but i need to reach but you need to be rich well you'd have to make a lot of money to have that many Brothers and sisters or children. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Because that would not be cheap. Yeah, I think there'd be a lot of advantages for sure. Also some disadvantages. Family feuds. But it would be interesting. Okay. Three. With that many children, where do they keep all their clothes? Uh, They keep their clothes in the cupboard. In a special room downstairs. In a special room downstairs. Yes. Can you imagine 20 sets of clothes every day to wash? They they must do laundry every day there. (laughs) Or every two days at least. They probably have more than one washing machine. Oh, my God. Yeah. So there's so many clothes that they have to have a separate room just to sort and put all the clothes and everything. I don't know how they do it. I imagine they do it like a hotel. Usually they put a little color tag inside your shirt so they know what room number it belongs to. Must be something like that. I don't know. It'd be interesting to read more about this family, how they how they operated. Wow. Hmm. What do the Dexters eat every morning for breakfast? I can eat a uh, liter of milk, two and a half boxes of cereal, and a most free loaf of bread. Yeah, was it four liters of milk? Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? Oh, that's alien is here. Four liters, yeah. Four liters of milk, two and a half loaves, boxes of cereal, and almost three loaves of bread for breakfast. Boy, the grocery bill would be expensive. Yeah, you'd have to have a lot of money to have a big family like that. Yeah. How does the family travel together? They can't get in a car. Yeah, they need to have a minibus. At least 20 seats. Yeah. So they have to have a small bus. It'd be pretty hard. You get a car and you have two seats in the front and three three people in the back. You'd have to have like four cars and four yeah. people would have to be able to drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have to have a bus license. Wow. Sure you don't want to be a bus driver? No, I don't. Me too. I wouldn't want to be a bus driver. I have a good friend of mine who's a bus driver in Canada, but it's a lot different riding the bus in Canada than it is riding a bus in Asia. Very different. Yeah. Yep. Does mom ever get a day off? 
What? Does mom ever get a day off? Yes. When? What happens? Uh, um, mom can rest and nothing. Do, do nothing. Rest and do nothing. That's true. Kids will do everything for her. But when does she get a day off where she doesn't have to do anything? Her birthday? No, in the mother's day. Mother's mother's day. Yeah, mother's, mother's day. Yeah, we got to work on those end sounds, those mothers and and such. And there's a couple of other words here where you missed the end sounds. And you, you don't like adding the S's. <laughs> I don't want to say phonics. Mm. But I need to do this to train in English. Yeah, the Dexter, the Dexters, the seat, the seats. Got to put those S's on there. So we'll work on those plurals, of course, when you're doing your readings. Uh, but a lot of it is you just have to be conscious, right? Make sure when you look at the words that you, you're looking at all the letters that are there. Um you know, if there's an S there, it's you, you're going to hear it. You know English, you know, even though it's like a wave, a lot of it's connected. You know that there's always going to be that little N sound to pretty much every word in English, which is very different than Vietnamese, of course. But uh, something to focus on. Yeah, you're still, it's rough. It's not your natural talent to learn English, but your skill is improving and you are getting stronger every term and uh, it will come. It will come as long as you don't give up and you have fun with it. We keep building that vocabulary and we keep practicing the pronunciation and the sounds, all the sounds that, that are in English. And, of course, you're getting a lot better at your sentence structures now because you're not going to be able to write paragraphs or essays or anything if you don't know how to make a sentence. So it's coming, buddy. Don't worry. Yeah. All good. All right. So that's it. We're done. I'm off to... The spaceship, because I have Mr. Alien waiting for me now. Oh, okay. Maybe he <laughs> is very angry. Maybe he... he yeah, no, his UFO has already landed. He He's already in the waiting room. So I already yeah. did Benicia. I did you. Just did you. We managed to get it done even with the internet cut. I got Alien after that. And I think the last one tonight is going to be Jason. And then I'll finish the rest of the class on Sunday. So our next yeah. class will be interest 14 next Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. All right, buddy. See you okay. next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hit the leggy mic screen. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Bye-bye.